हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारे वा डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू चाइनीज फ्राइड राइस समोसा यस यू नो आई ट्राइड दिस वन टाइम एंड इट वाज सुपर टेस्टी डियर फ्रेंड्स इट्स नॉट द रेगुलर राइस कुक बट वी गोइंग टू मेक इट विथ पफ राइस एंड इन दिस यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनी मोर कुकिंग टू मिक्स दिस सो हियर आई हैव गॉट कैबेज फाइनली चॉप्ड बेल पेपर finely chopped finely chopped carrot chopped green chili garlic ginger very finely chopped in this we're going to add some finely chopped spring onion and we're also going to add some green peas in this we're going to add little bit of msg to give a flavor some pepper and a little bit of soy sauce okay this is basically whatever leftover ingredients leftover vegetables you have you can add chop them and make this in this add little bit of salt not too much because soy sauce also has salt finally we are going to add our puff rice mix all of this to make the stuffing okay once you mix this just let it sit for 2 minutes and then just press it once again and you will have this nice stuffing to go into your samosas Now this puff rice mixture is ready but I'm going to show you how to make the roti we're going to make a thin rumali roti and then we're going to use that sheet to make our samosas for this I'm going to take 2 cups of uh, all purpose flour that is maida in this add 1 cup of whole wheat flour that is the atta we use for uh, making the chapatis and this is whole wheat flour and all purpose flour in this add just required amount of uh, salt and also add little bit of oil in this and now we're going to make a very soft dough for this i'm going to add water and make a soft dough now you know look at this make sure you make the dough soft like a chapati dough and also we're going to rest the dough before we roll the dough thin because otherwise the dough will stretch back and you'll have tough time rolling it once the dough is all ready just cover it up with a wet cloth and rest it for 15 20 minutes once you rest the dough we're going to divide it into smaller portions and again rest it for few more minutes before you roll into a thin roti now take the dough take help of uh, some all purpose flour and then we're going to roll this very thin now we're going to roll this very very thin look at this if you take the help of the flour then you will be able to roll and another thing is you know make sure rest the dough look at this very thin we're going to let the tawa be very very hot and you just going to toss it on both sides and just let it cook a little bit okay so here put it on the hot tawa and you don't have to cook it if the heat of the tawa is low then it will become like a papad so it has to be really hot just cook it on one side little bit then turn to the other side that way your roti will be soft once again the tawa has to be hot and it should be just put on tawa just for few seconds now this roti is done we're going to put it here and then we're going to cut it for our samosas now just cut the edges okay now we are going to cut them into thin strips okay now you know take the strips like this and you will just need half of this strips to make your samosas just we going to cut them like this and these strips we going to use to make our cocktail samosas once you cut these just put them in a wet cloth so that they remain soft otherwise they'll dry out and become hard now i have the sheets ready as well as i've got the mixture so it's very easy to make just make a triangle like this and do again so now you have a nice cone ready so we're going to take our chinese puff rice masala and stuff it in okay but only thing is once you put the mixture in this just press it little bit okay now we're going to take a slurry of uh, flour and water and just put it on the edges 
so that it sticks well. So, now take this and seal the samosas. Now, you have a awesome triangular looking samosas. Okay? So, dear friends, our samosas are all ready and fry it in hot oil. Okay? So, just drop these awesome triangles and they will come out nice and crispy. And inside, the flavor is puff fries, the Cheney style, the triangular kind of spring roll flavor. Dear friends, they taste good. Just pass it on for the kids. They will thoroughly enjoy them. So, dear friends, look at these samosas. Fry them till they are nice and golden and they will be fantastic. I am going to let them slightly cool down and taste. Dear friends, these awesome cocktail Chinese fried samosas are ready and look at the mixture. Inside is all colorful with lot of vegetables. Mm. Wow! Just tasting outstanding. Dear friends, even with a regular Chinese fried rice, you can make these samosas. And many of you must have seen, even in the spring rolls, they sometimes mix the Chinese fried rice. Wow! Huh. Along with this, if you have a nice garlic tomato sauce, it will taste fantastic. Hmm. Just outstanding. But dear friends, do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Mmm.